every year, I try to be a little creative with the packaging of the gift. And I think I outdid myself this year. This thing is sick. Oh! As far as materials go, I had a 4 foot long 2x4 and two 20 inch 2x6s. In just a moment, these boards are all going to get glued together, so I took about half an inch off each board edge. The edges on construction material are normally rounded, so removing them gives us a flat surface for the glue to stick. After I ran all my boards, it was time for the glue up. To mimic the shape of the guitar, I put the 2x4 board in the middle, surrounded by the 2x6s. And the clamps that you see here are just going to hold the boards together for a few hours while the glue dries. I made the neck of the guitar super long, and this is to give me some extra material for the headstock. The headstock is a little wider than the neck, so I had to make sure that the design reflected that. I just needed a little bit of material there, so that I can cut the shape out later. I figured it would be a while before the glue dried, so I started mapping out the shape of the guitar. I didn't have a template or anything like that handy, so I kind of just went based on an image that I was looking at. You'll notice that I didn't get it right on my first try, so I started mapping out a few different lines and I just went with the one that I felt fit best. And to avoid any confusion, I just blacked out the parts that I didn't want to keep. Since this guitar would be in wrapping paper, I figured the shape wouldn't have to be perfect, just close enough. And honestly, it wasn't looking too bad considering that there was no template used. I let it dry for a few hours and then took it out of the clamps. After that, I used a jigsaw to cut out the general shape. This was the tool of choice because it's so easy to maneuver, especially around the curves. I should have known better than to use a small battery for this. It died relatively quickly. I swapped out the battery and we were back in business. And here's a quick little progress shot that I took on my phone. You'll notice that the neck is still super thick, so I had a solution for that as well. This is an electric handheld planer, and it basically reduces the thickness of the neck with its spinning blade with every pass. It's a really fun tool, and as you can see, it's working. The only downside is it does make a big mess. As one of the finishing details, I grabbed a round over router bit and attached it to my cordless router. And with every pass, this router bit turns those sharp edges into a curved one. This is going to make the shape of this electric guitar more accurate, and it'll be much easier to wrap without tearing up the paper. I also sanded this piece, but I forgot to record that part, so we can pretend. Now, it's time for the fun part. Well, hopefully this whole thing has been fun, but we're actually packaging the gift now. I mapped an outline for the game, and then I grabbed a straight router bit to create an indentation for that game to sit. I tried to closely follow the line and remove material within the region that I outlined. This is soft wood since it's 2x material, but I definitely wouldn't try this on hardwood. After that was done, I cleaned out the area and made space for the game. This game came out a few months ago and it quickly became one of my favorites. I turned the guitar face down and got right into it. I went out of my way to mold the wrapping paper into the shape of the guitar, just to make it more convincing. I'm not the greatest at wrapping gifts, but as far as fake guitars go, I think this one came out pretty well. And now it's time to see how that all went down. Ha <laughs> ha